Huang. That is traditional Chinese culture, and is a secret exactly how they do it. I think it's better to appreciate the art as it is rather than put too much thought into how it's done. As you've probably heard in the news, here in Shenzhen, we are on the cutting edge of a lot of technology. Face recognition is becoming quite common. You can buy groceries or pay for food in the school cafeteria. In some cases, if you break traffic laws, they can identify you by your face and find you. But also, it has been used to find hundreds of abducted and trafficked children in the last few years and return them to their parents. Of course, we Chinese like to hack new tech and find this weakness as much as anyone. So, a team up at Fudan University, one of China's top schools, published a paper on an interesting way to spoof face recognition using infrared LEDs set in the brim of a hat. I think a projector in the head or hanging on a necklace would allow for more complex patterns and better spoofing. May Fashion has also used projectors to show patterns on clothing. So what I've got here is a mini projector. It's called Remi M100. I think this is the smallest projector um, they made. I was going to just take it apart and then use the components inside. But I think it will work just fine like this. Now I'm going to turn off the light and show you the resolution of the video. Video player. So I bought a mannequin head, so I do not have to shine the projector light on my face all the time. I could just use her as a model. And uh, I also got some hats. Let's try the hats on her. Let's start from a small one. I really like this one because I could sort of, you know, hide the projector underneath. Let's see if this one is okay. And then shot. Oh, let's put an image on her. I have to go really far, but it has to go underneath. So if I put it underneath, I don't see anything. Next. So the second one has this pointy tip. But from the outside, I think you can also hide the projector. So let's put it on her and take. Uh, no. If I put it, oh. No, but don't worry. I got something tremendous, tremendous. Something like this. Okay, all right. Oh man, Let's see. This one is um, 60 centimeters. So when we shine the projector on the face, I can put it on tip here. It's no problem. It almost worked like this, but um, I can't wear a hat like this outside. It's crazy. I could work with something a bit smaller, like medium size. And I had to think of something else for my projector also. Okay, I will do that. I have two lenses here. They are both wide angle. I think it will allow me to mount the projector closer to my face. This one is okay. And the other one. This one. I think this one looks good. This one might be it. But I have to think of something like a solution. I think I'll pretty print something to go with the, this lenses. I 3D printed out a lot of test pieces to get the fit for the projector just right. I print one small piece at a time. It takes about 10 minutes, so it goes pretty fast. 
This is my 3D printer, the Creality CR10S. Many thanks to my sponsors at Creality for giving it to me. So I've got another head. This one compared to this one. See, this one is more manageable. Now I'm going to put it on the mannequin and see how it looks. Yeah. I think the projection is right, but um, I probably need to distort the image in Photoshop and only project on my face and not my neck like this. You know, a lot of the time I try to put wires in my wearable projects like in my shoes and clothing. It is my first time to use this kind of basket material. It is so much easier. I just need to put a zip tie around them and just zip it. Um, I think in the future I would use more of this kind of material for my wearable projects. And right now I'm just going to um, zip tie the wire around. If I want to test the effectiveness against face recognition, I will need to replace the light source in the projector with an infrared one. That's pretty easy, but since it's IR, you will not see anything and it won't be a very interesting demonstration. Next time, I will set up OpenCV or something at home and do more specific testing for face recognition. Right now, it's Halloween night. Shenzhen is a very international city and China has many traditional monsters, ghosts and zombies we can dress up as. So, there should be some fun activities around the city. I'm going to load up the opera masks and see if I can go scare some kids. <laughs>